All right, folks, welcome to Federal Way High School. Here we are. We are going to do a tour of the theater today. So we're walking in to the main doors by the attendance desk. See, there we go. Mr. Keys is over there. We are going in this way. No food or drink. Haha, -ha, no gum either. As we come into the theater space, we come in up on top and we walk around. We actually walk towards the tech booth, which I'll show you first since we're here. But then we have the lovely view of our theater. 408 seats. Nice big stage to play on. It is most awesome. All right, heading over here, we have our tech booth. We have our light board here. Everything is, con all the lights are controlled here. This is our list of light cues. Here's how long they take to execute. And this is our view up from the booth. And if we look this direction, we have two follow spots here. These spotlights, one will go on either side of the booth, one on that side on the outside and one back where we just were. And these spotlights will angle towards the stage so that we reduce shadow on the actors. We have a rack here for sound. The projector is also run through this. And over here we have our lovely digital soundboard. Uh, you may be familiar with an analog soundboard, which has all dials like this. And those dials would be located all the way up here. Having a digital soundboard allows us to have multiple layers. So even though it only says 16 channels, we actually have 32. We can double that. Uh, this window here would open during performances so we can hear what's going on on stage uh, live acoustically. Um, stage manager would be sitting right here in the middle calling the show. Um, that music stand would be down there with them as well. They'd put their prompt book on that and be on headset with the soundboard operator, the lightboard operator, and the ASM that's going to be backstage right. All right. Everybody on tech gets on a headset like this called ClearCom. It's one earmuff, not two, because like I said, they need to hear what's in the room. Microphone. Um, etiquette with being on headset, you know, you don't leave it on. If you're going to cough, you mute yourself, that type of thing, right? Okay, coming back around, let's travel down to the stage. And it's a lovely, large space. It is fantastic. Um, the doors right there lead out through a hallway that gets you to the cafeteria area and the lower commons entrance. Okay, right now we are walking on the VOM. This is short for vomitorium, and yes, that is exactly what you are thinking. Yes, um, in ancient Roman days, they would eat and eat and eat and drink and drink, and then they would walk down these hallways to the lavatory and throw up. Then they would come back and they would eat and eat and eat and drink some more. Uh, gluttony was a big thing, <laughs> so was bulimia. Um, so we don't do that anymore, but we do have the same name for these spaces, the VOMs. So it's VOM, uh, House Right VOM and House Left VOM. All right, now we are standing on a stage, fairly center. And on the floor here, you see some tape marks. These are called um, spike spikes. Technically, these are called spikes. Uh, they are made with spike tape. It's about a quarter inch wide. It's a cloth tape and bright colors and we put these down on the floor so that we know where this set piece needs to go and you can see this fairly easily when the lights are off or dim and we need to make sure the set is put in the same exact place each time because blocking goes around it it matters the lights are focused on the set so it matters how everything is is located all right um over here this blue thing this is our grand drape. 
That will track in and meet the other side halfway. Up above, we have the grand teaser, grand valance. Um, it's up a little bit high today. It needs to come down. It should be down about three more feet. Uh, but that frames out the stage. And speaking of frame, this here, that goes all the way around and down on this side, that is the proscenium arch. Kind of looks like a picture frame. I'll show you uh, when I step over um, to another location, I'll show you. It really looks like a picture frame. Um, it comes from the Greek word proscenium. Um, that is our proscenium arch, which means that this is a proscenium theater. It's the type of theater it is. Um, and then here, if you follow on the floor from that side, there's actually a break in the floor right there, all the way to this side, that is where our traditional stage ends and the apron begins. So everything downstage of the proscenium arch is considered the apron. Okay, so this is a playing area as well. Okay, that's the apron. If we go backstage, on one side of the theater is the fly rail. Um, there's a lever here, there's a, a button to depress. You pull the lever forward and then this rope you pull up or down, depending on if you want what is hanging on it to raise or lower on stage. So if we follow the fly rail up, I'm gonna turn around now, and then you see it goes on the ceiling and then it comes down and it attaches to whatever is hanging. So there's an electric here with the lights on it. Those are called instruments. And it's called electric because it has power. The one behind it is just a bar. That's called a batten. There's no electricity to it. It's not electrified, it's just a batten. And so our projector screen is actually hanging off of the batten and the lighting instruments are hanging off of the electric. Okay, oh, and then you see here, see that black curtain there? That is also a teaser and it's hiding the lights so that the audience don't see the lights. Okay, here we have what is called a leg. It is a curtain. It does not track like what the mid-stage traveler does. I'll show you that in a second, but it is the full height. And the purpose of this is sight lines. We want the audience to not be looking backstage. So here I am standing backstage. I can see some of the audience seating. Chances are, if the lights were out back here, they would not be able to see me. But just in case, we also have what are called tabs. So these curtains always, uh, that we fly them out to keep them clean and safe and so they don't get damaged. These will fly down and create a curtain wall right here so that you don't see the fly rail. And the same thing is on the other side as well. So we have the legs that block and the tabs. Now we're at the mid-stage traveler. So mid-stage traveler has a rope with it. It's a pulley system. We will close the mid-stage traveler if we want to shrink the stage. And normally for my shows, I close this thing um, because otherwise we go way to the back of the theater and that's just far too large. Also, these shells are here. We can't hide them. Um, so we close the mid-stage traveler and that is plenty deep plenty deep for a show, but this can open and close. And then as we look up again, we see more fly lines and we see electrics, we see battens, just a solid bar with nothing on it. Okay. If we continue to go backstage, we pass by more fly rail. We have some other uh, lighting equipment back here, kind of hard to see. This is a ladder going up to the catwalk. And above us, we have hanging the psyche and the scrim. So the psyche is a solid piece of like muslin that is woven together as one solid piece. There are no seams in it. That is for us to um, throw light on it, various colors of light, uh, projections we might want to put on there. It's, you know, think of it like a projector screen, right? The scrim, however, is black. You can't really see it. Um, I wonder if I get on this side of it, can you see? Uh, there we go. You can kind of see. It is see-through. See right there? You can see through a little bit. So the really cool thing about this is if you light it from the front, you don't see what's behind it. 
but if you light it from the back, you can see what's behind it. So think like a, uh, a flashback scene. Maybe you'll have a couple characters in front of the scrim. They are lit. Maybe there's even a uh, projection onto the scrim, like a wallpaper pattern, so it looks like they're in a room. Then maybe they have a flashback or they're daydreaming or thinking about something. And then we can light behind the scrim and it'll light behind the scrim and then we can see what's happening behind the, uh, behind, the, behind the scrim. And you can go back and forth with the lights. You can turn them on, turn them off, and it can have a really cool effect. All right. Uh, you can also fly it out and get it out of the way eventually. All right, now we're going to go out this door. That door leads to the hallway that did, would take you out to the cafeteria. We're gonna go up the circular staircase. Spinny, spinny, don't get dizzy. And we are up here to like boxed seating over here. And then we look out and we see our lovely stage. So remember, like I said, proscenium arch. If the stage extended out into this seating area, so the audience was on one, two, three sides, that would be a thrust space. Thrust extends out into the seating area, audience on three sides. But if we chose to have our show on the stage and put chairs all the way around, then it would become an arena stage. It also would be considered a black box because we were able to move the seating. So spaces like classrooms are black box spaces um, because you can move the desks and chairs anywhere. Okay, over here, that is the dimmer room. The dimmer rack controls the power to the lights to all the instruments. Cool thing about these particular instruments, these are ellipsoidals, they have shutters to shape the light. You can put a gobo in this type of instrument and a gobo is a flat piece of metal with a pattern cut out on it. So you can have a pattern of light on the stage, uh, maybe like a window or a leaf breakup. Um, there's tons of cool things. And it also has um, a gel frame. So you can put a gel, which is a piece of plastic that's colored in here and you can color the light. Like you see how it's purple on stage right now, that is thanks to gels. So we're gonna go back around this way and we're going to continue going up and we're going up some more and now we're at the first catwalk. Um, if you are up here on the catwalks, be sure to be careful. There are cablings and other things that you don't wanna trip and uh, get hurt. Um, this type of light right here is a Fresnel. It does not control the light. It, it is used for washes, so washes of light. And you can control them by putting a barn door on, and I'll, I'll show you one of those in a minute. But then here we are looking over, over the house, long way down. Uh, these are the acoustical panels. So when we speak on stage, the sound comes out to the house, bounces off of these and continues out to the audience. It also works the reverse way. So if your audience is talking, making noise, everybody hears it. So we need to make sure we have good audience etiquette and be mindful of other people. Over on this side, there's a huge step. So, you know, hang on to the side, be careful when you get up. And there's where we just were. And we will go backstage on the catwalk. And here we are looking down at that first electric and batten that we saw. This is what's called a ladder. These are on the sides. And again, we like side lighting so that we don't have a lot of shadowing. But you can see these are like the rungs of a ladder and the lights, the instruments are hung right off of that. Over here, we also have tabs. These are the tabs that will, this whole thing will fly down so that the bottom of it is touching the floor when we have performances. And over here, a little more upstage, there's a view looking down at the shells. Um, and then if you look over here, right there, that is the barn door that I was talking about a moment ago. There are four kind of wings, right? Four of them that you can attach onto a Fresnel and it will um, allow you to shape the light a little bit. Not as effective 
as an ellipsoidal, but better than nothing, okay? And then we go back a little bit more and we see we have the scrim here hanging and the psych. Remember the scrim is like, um, kind of like a screen. Can't really see through it from this angle, but it is see-through, it's like a screen. And then looking straight across to the other side. So now we're going to turn and we're gonna follow back on the catwalk from backstage, going back out over the house. Here we are again. This is where we came from originally, right there. And if I look over this railing, there is the door that we came in originally. That door will lead you out by the attendance desk. And when you come in, you'll walk along the path there and go along the path over there and then come down the steps and find your seat in the theater. When walking along the catwalk here though, look up. This is very, very close. Um, I'm 5'10", and it's that close to the top of my head. So just be mindful that this is iron. <laughs> if you hit your head, uh, you're gonna feel it. So be careful up here that you don't uh, crack your head on anything. Okay, second, <clears throat> excuse me, second catwalk. We walk along. Uh, this one has many more instruments on it, so you really need to be careful of the snake pit, and that is all the cabling that is laying out here. You don't want to trip on it and hurt yourself, and you also don't want to pull any of these lighting instruments out of focus. If you trip on it and pull the cable, the potential for the instrument to turn um, increases, so we don't want to do that. Do you see the lights on the back of these instruments here? Some of them have a little blue light, some of them don't. The ones that have the blue light are called DMX or DMX 512. That stands for Digital um, Multiverse, Multiplex. So what happens is there are actually 512 channels in each one of these lights and you program it at the board. So these lights can be any color in the universe pretty much and they can be linked together and you can have um, the way the lights come on and off. You can create patterns, you can create color patterns, um, motion patterns, like the light itself will not turn, but the how the light hits the stage, you can do a chase pattern, um, any type of pattern. It's really cool. Okay, turning back around this way, we will go up towards the booth. Now, earlier when we came in, we were on that path and we went in the booth, the door is right back there, and the light board is here, the sound board is there, and the stage manager sits right there. Okay, there's another way to get to the booth from this direction. However, this way usually stays locked unless we are in performance. Um, there's a, a room in there with a ladder that would go down and you could get into the tech booth that way, but these doors um, stay locked. Okay, so here is looking at the stage from up here. It's a pretty good view. And the theater really is pretty spectacular. I hope that you can get in here and work on a show with me, whether you are performing or working on a crew, like a light crew, set crew, props, costumes, makeup, run crew, front of house. Um, there's lots of opportunity to be involved in theater, depending on whether you want to perform or not. Lots of jobs in theater. Hey guys, one more thing I forgot to show you. Off of stage right, so if I turn around, I'm looking out onto stage, right? There's the house. So off of stage right is our green room. So we have this space here that is incredibly awesome. There's a nice monitor there. So when performers are on stage, that'll be on and you'll be able to see what's happening. And we have three like privacy changing area bays. There's enough seating in here for about I think, 26 or 28 um, cast members to have their own seat in front of their own mirror. So that's really cool. There's a storage room there. There's a single use washroom back here and more storage and there's back looking backstage and then if we continue this way uh, my office is right there and looking out in this direction 
this would send us back out to the lower commons um, where people have their lunch. The office is over that way. The main corner entrance is right here and the courtyard is that way. So that takes care of all the spaces of the Federal Way Theater. Um, it's a beautiful space, it's awesome, and I hope that we can all do a production here. Like I said, there's lots of opportunity for acting, for tech, for lighting. Um, if you have a mind for designing, let's get some student designers in working on things. I would eventually love to have my crews consist of solely students. I would love to not bring in professionals to do the designing. I would love to get you guys to design the shows and to run the shows. And I will train you, so you'll be awesome. Um, but I would love it to be all student done and eventually have some student directed works put up as well. So lots of big plans. Come be part of it. This is your theater at Federway High School. And I will see you soon, hopefully on stage sooner than later. All right. All right, guys, have a good one. See you soon.